Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's first of all thank these four wonderful players for a pulsating women's doubles final here on Rod Laver Arena. We are joined on court by Tennis Australia President and Chair Jane Hurtlicka, Tournament Director Craig Tiley, Tournament Referee Wayne McEwen, and Renee Stubbs, winner of four Grand Slam women's doubles titles and two mixed doubles titles, 60 WTA doubles titles overall, and of course Renee held the world number one ranking. But I'd first like to introduce Damien Meredith of Kia Motors Australia to come to the microphone and say a few words. Thank you very much, everybody. I'd just like to uh, thank the players for uh, a fantastic game uh, under difficult conditions. Melbourne weather's been uh, as it always is. You don't know whether it's going to be 40 degrees or 20 degrees, but it's been uh, a great match. Congratulations to the four of them. I'd like to uh, thank uh, the whole uh, attendance of uh, you today. It's uh, always great to watch uh, a doubles match, get all the excitement. And uh, to the winners, congratulations. And uh, we look forward to seeing more tennis over the next couple of days. Thank you very much. Thank you, Damien. I'd like to now invite Jane Hurdlicker to present the chair umpire for the women's doubles final with a special gift to Alison Hughes from Great Britain. Well done, Alison. Thank you, Jane. It's now time to recognise, ladies and gentlemen, our runners up who will receive a cheque from Damien Meredith and the trophy of course, from doubles champion, Renee Stubbs. Would you please put your hands together for our doubles runner-up from Hungary, Tamea Babosh, and from France, Christina Ladenovic. Well, hi everyone. Um, we guys made you happy for sure um, because these two ladies um, from Australia and of course from China, Sam and Schweib, they played a really, really good match. So congrats guys, uh, you got your revenge. <laughs> and I'm sure we will have many more to come. Um, second is always, but first actually, my partner and my best friend uh, Kiki, thanks for playing with me. Um, <laughs> We really have a wonderful relationship. Um, it really wasn't my day, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but um, I'm sure we will have many more together. So thanks for playing with me. Of course, to our box there, thank you guys um, for being there for us. Um, yeah, we always have our difficult moments, um, but after we always rise. <laughs> We were here last year holding that trophy and uh, for sure we will be back and I hope I will see you many of you guys. Thank you so much. She took my idea for the speech so I have to invent <laughs> something else. Uh, but you guys definitely are in a, in a good mood right now. That was not our goal, right? But. Uh, <laughs> Um, it was a very big pleasure to, to play in front of you, even if it's uh, you know in the finals and against, uh, let's say, a crowd against us. But we didn't mind at all. You're really fair, and we love the crowd here. So thank you very much. And then uh, comes with it, of course, uh, to congratulate our opponent, girls. You played uh, a terrific tournament, I think. Uh, you really deserve this win. You had uh, fantastic wins and uh, a really good level today. So you deserved it. And congrats to you and, uh, and your whole team. Um, thank you to the family, the box, our team, uh, all the friends and uh, everybody that is back home uh, watching us. Sorry for this one, but uh, like Timmy said, through good and, uh, and bad, we are writing uh, many pages in our 
in our book. So thank you for, for always sticking by our side and giving your best. Thank you. And I don't know what she was saying, really. You thought it was her, her bad day? I mean, <laughs> this girl is a, it a, is a fantastic girl. She, she's my best friend. She's such a wonderful person. I wanted to, in public, just tell her that she's completely wrong, that today we are a team, and uh, that I enjoy through losing final, through winning those finals. I really enjoyed all the process with her, and uh, it's just wonderful memories. And overall, it's just a super fun strong friendship so I wouldn't change that for, for anything so thank you for being by my side. <laughs> and uh, just one more thing and then I enjoy these girls for, for their title because we are speaking too much. Uh, one more time. <laughs> Uh, Craig and everybody really involved in this tournament. Um, I am French and I don't, my federation president is sitting uh, there and uh, we, I have to say that you're doing a, an amazing job. I don't know, every time we come, we, we don't recognize the venue and uh, every time there is renovation, something new. So uh, really thank you uh, for everything you're doing and uh, it's a real pleasure to, to be back here every single year. Thanks for treating us amazing and uh, yeah, we will be back for sure many years and hopefully we, we see you all guys again. Thank you. Thank you, Tamaya. Thank you, Christina. All the best for a big 2019. Well, now I'd like to ask Damien Meredith to present the cheque to our champions who will receive the perpetual trophy from Renee Stubbs, your Australian Open women's doubles champions, Samantha Stoza from Australia and Zhang Shui from China. Okay, Shui says I go first, so she's the boss. Um, <laughs> uh, firstly, um, great tournament to you girls. Um, you're obviously one of the best teams in the world, so we were ready for a really tough one today, which it was, so bad luck, but very best for the rest of the year. I want to thank a, a big, big, big thank you to both of our teams over there in the corner. Um, Starting with Shui's coach, Robert, her mum and dad, they're always around, they're very supportive, and all of my team, Matt, Liz, Nick, Mel, everyone who's always with me throughout the year, all my uh, family are here today, and all my friends who came out, thanks guys for coming, and um, I couldn't do it without you. Uh, probably most importantly, Shui, my partner. Thank you very much. Um, it's always a pleasure being on court with you. We have a, a great friendship, and I think that really shows when we play. We support each other no matter what. We win the point, we lose the point. Win the match, lose the match, doesn't matter. We're always there. And uh, thank you so much for um, being my partner this week and, and for the many more to come. Um, and Craig and all of Tennis Australia for putting on this event. It's I have to say it's the best in the world. We love being here. Um, I think everyone always enjoys coming here to Australia. So thanks guys very much for all that you, all you do for us throughout the whole year. Uh, all the sponsors, thank you very much. And last but not least, all you guys for coming out and supporting us. Uh, it was a pleasure playing in front of you today. And. Uh, <laughs> I look forward to seeing you next year. Thanks, everyone. Hi, everyone. First, I want to congratulations for Timia and Kiki. In very good tournament, very good week, and uh, uh, keep going. And next is French Open. Oh, <laughs> support for you next Grand Slam. Good luck for the year. 
And uh, thanks all the sponsors, thanks for the um, everyone fans coming to uh, today and uh, um, amazing tournament for me. Uh, today's dream coming true for me. I want thanks for the all sponsor and the all tournament uh, director and uh, Lala, Pam, Donna, and uh, thanks Physio, thanks Bucky, thanks for the umpire, thanks my team and the Sam team, and thanks for the national team, China Federation, helping me. How wake? How to wake? Can I speak a little bit Mandarin to China? Thank you to all my friends from the country. I know that now I'm in the TV, and I'm in my friends, and I'm in my friends. Today is my dream to be true. Thank you very much. I hope I can continue to work to bring you more good results. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our 2019 women's doubles champions, Sam Stosa from Australia and Zhang Shui from China. Thank you very much, everyone. What a sensational display of doubles tennis. The players will pose for some photos, and we'll see you back here tonight for the second men's semi-final, Novak Djokovic and Luca Pui of France. Well, a dream come true absolutely for Zhang Shui and Sam Stoza as they lift the title, the trophy, a beautiful trophy it is, and one that Sam Stoza got so close to back in 2006, in fact, having a couple of match points, but today, Casey, it was Stoza and Shui who just teamed better in the big moments, and I think that was probably the difference. Yeah, they certainly did in the end there. We see the normal protocol after a presentation of them taking photos with the trophy, but they were the team that combined it better as a team, and I think that's what doubles is about. There was disappointment in the voice and a few tears from Tamea Babosh as don't think she necessarily had her best day and she knows that but that's just tennis and she'll bounce back and they'll bounce back as a team they are one of the best teams in the world and they've now still had a great tournament can't say making the making it through to the final is a bad achievement by any means but plenty more opportunities down the track no doubt for a young team in Babos and Miladinovic they've already won a few slams but today's day belongs to Stoza and Zhang Shui, popular winners here and popular off the court as well, both both of them very friendly in the locker room and around the player, player lounge and area, very well regarded for working hard and... Yeah, they are, they're very popular players, as you said. Players feel like they're approachable, you can talk to them, they're well, great to practice with and got very good reputations and they'll leave a good legacy behind and we have some great Australian music playing in the background land down under very appropriate for for Sam Stoza obviously Shui being from China but well, re well represented Australia in the finals here in the doubles I've got John Pierce in the men's doubles final and then in the mixed doubles it's JP Smith and Astra Sharma so the Australians having a good run here in the doubles at the Australian Open and it's a good start for Sam Stozer and Zhang Shui. Just wonderful memories here, lifelong memories for particularly Sam Stozer, who is coming to the back end of her career, turns 35 in a couple of months. And as we know, it's been a bit of a struggle in the last couple of years with her singles, but you just have to cherish these moments. You do mention that many times they just they don't pop their head up so much, and this team certainly made the most of. Their opportunity today, they came out and played some tremendous tennis. They were tough at crucial points. And certainly some great memories. 
quite amazing that it's been 13 years since she last made the final here, Sam Stoza. So you can just understand there the longevity in her career and what she's been able to achieve and still out here and winning a Grand Slam title once again. In fact, hasn't really played a lot of doubles in the last two to three years, to be fair. It's, it's really been um, a focus on the singles uh, with just trying to look after her body. and. In fact, I think it's helped her by playing more doubles. It gives her more matches and more confidence. So, and what a dream come true for Shway, as she said. You can just see her embracing every moment out here. I don't think this was probably something she expected when they first started out in the beginning of the week playing doubles, but she's now a Grand Slam champion, and that would mean a lot back to everyone in China as well. They'll be dancing in the streets back in China, celebrating this victory. Very popular sport, as is Shui, with her fans around China. And great opportunity for these ball kids to be part of this trophy celebration. Shui, just I think looking at the names, <laughs> the other names that are on the trophy. That's her mother and father, who have been a wonderful support travel all around the world with her playing that support role. They often don't get much recognition, but boy, they've done a great job. Crew Ryan down there just negotiating every photo opportunity, managing it. A real thrill for the ball kids who've worked tirelessly and 